Thanks, Sophie. I'm Jessica Lane. You're watching Look North. Good evening. High levels of migration into the UK will have an impact on the way people from places like Grimsby, Hull and Scunthorpe vote at the next election. That's the finding of new research into attitudes in traditionally Labour voting areas. Home Office figures show the numbers of asylum seekers in hotels has climbed to more than 50,000. Our political editor Tim Iredale reports. Calls for Lincoln's Christmas market to be bought back next year have been rejected by councillors. A new driver who crashed, causing the death of two of her friends and seriously injuring another, will be punished by living with the consequences. That was the verdict of a judge at Lincoln Crown Court today. Laura Jensen was given a 12-month sentence, suspended for 18 months. Visitors to Hull Royal Infirmary are being asked to avoid sitting on beds or not to go into wards at all after a norovirus outbreak. Next this evening, and the first tin of British baked beans has been canned at a Lincolnshire factory. We eat two million tins a day, but until now, the raw beans were grown abroad and shipped here to be processed. Lincolnshire farmer Andrew Ward has spoken to our rural affairs correspondent Lindsay Smith about growing the beans. Paul Hudson's got you weather now. Thanks, Paul. That's all from the team here for tonight. We're back in BBC Breakfast tomorrow.